go play. And then I'll give you some tips. Fill your, what is it everybody? Fill your pouch. Your pouch. The most nutritious food you can most of the time. Got it? Now, you want to circle the word fill, F-I-L-L? -L. What type of word is fill, Anna? That means they have full capacity. Yes. What type of word is it? Verb. A verb. What type of verb? Action. What type of action verb? This is getting back to old school. Who remembers the word? Oh, my God. Who wants to get out? <laughs> Cheryl, what type of verb? Earth. What type of verb? Adverb. But no, it's not an adverb. No, it's, not adverb. Adverb. Oh, it's not common core, so we don't teach that. Anymore. What is it? <laughs> it's not common core. I don't have to do that anymore. It's but you know, <laughs> you're a teacher. Yeah, I know. Isn't this an imperative verb? Yes, it oh, is. Oh, I know. Okay. But we don't use it. Yeah, we don't use it. An imperative verb. Now I gotta edit out all of like this pause. <laughs> Damn video. <laughs> Kidding. So this is imperative verb. So what does that mean? It's a command. <coughs> yes, a command. You want to get that? It's a command. Okay. All right. It's a command. Who is it commanding? Who's the subject? You. Right. That's the subject. So you can read it like this. You feel your pouch. You fill your pouch. You must fill. Now this is important for y'all to understand. I've had patients say, I'll say to a patient, why are you overweight? They'll say, it's my husband's fault. Oh my goodness. Why is it your husband's fault? They'll say, he's such a good cook. He oh, cooks wow. for me every night. I'll say, wow, that's a terrible problem. Or I'll hear them say, I'll say, why are you overweight? They'll say, it's my husband's fault. Oh, why is that? He can't cook. We have to eat out all the time. <laughs> See what I'm saying? It's all, so here, y'all write this down. The, when you guys get started, and the, most people in this world, the problem's out there. They want to blame the problem out there. Food, good food's cheap. No, it's not. Crappy food's cheap. Yeah, it is. True? Yeah. If it wasn't all over the place, I wouldn't eat it. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> My boss is a jerk. If he was a better boss, I wouldn't be so stressed out. The command is you must fill your pouch. You're responsible to fill. Circle pouch. We all have pouches. Is that true? Yes? Yes. 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 Let's throw our gang sign real quick. Okay? So our gang sign. All right, do this. Take your left hand, left hand, left hand, put it up high. Where the ribs come together, there's a bone there. That's your xiphoid bone. It's between the girls. Spread apart the girls. We're all family. No looking, no looking at your sister. Some of the girls have fallen. Put it right here. Take your left hand. Put it up there. Take your right hand. Put it down here. Now look around. See which sleeve family member didn't throw it right. Oh, that's pretty good. Y'all got pretty. I think everybody got it right. That's good. We had a repeat offender yesterday in group. A repeat offender. Now, then we have a new patient who did this. I was like, now listen, that's your transverse colon right there. You throw it like that. That's your colon. So it goes like that, okay? So make sure. And that's the anatomical orientation of your sleeve. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. And you, most of y'all have sleeve pouches. But you have bypass pouches. There are lap band pouches. Dr. Vong just has a regular old hand pouch. Aaron has a regular hand pouch. Makes sense? Okay. And it's your job to fill it. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. With what? Nutritious. Nutritious. Circle. Nutritious. Food. Nutritious. Which means you have to what? Learn. Who said that word earlier? Cheryl, I said write it down. Learn what nutritious means. Write that down. Learn what nutritious means. Learn what this means. Because some of y'all never learned what this means. If it says low in fat, does that make it nutritious? No. Really? 
If it says fat free, does it make it nutritious? No. No. It doesn't. Um, only 20 points. Does that make it <laughs> nutritious? No. Or only two points, whatever. I don't even know the point system. What if it says uh, even cheesier? No. Now 20% more. Does that make it more nutritious? No. Okay. You have to learn what nutritious means, and we'll do other videos on that. Okay? Now, you can, underline you can, fill your pouch with the most nutritious food you can. Sometimes you can. Does that make sense? Sometimes you can. Now listen, you can't fool yourself though. You can't say, oh, Dr. Vong, I'm too busy to make green smoothies. See, that's an excuse. You can, you don't. So don't confuse it with you don't, right? Some people want to say, I can't do it, I don't have time. No, no, you just don't. There's a difference. There's just nothing healthy at this buffet, Dr. Vong. <laughs> I'm sure there is, you're just not, you're just choosing not to eat it. Does that make sense? Yeah. Because I promise you, if Dr. Vong went to that buffet, I'd find something healthy. To eat. If I wanted something else, maybe I don't want something healthy that day. Is that true? Make sense? Okay, so sometimes you can't. Now circle most of the time. Why most of the time? Why not all of the time? Why not be perfect? Y'all didn't even let me do it. Why not be perfect like Dr. V, Terry? <laughs> because, so write that down. Because life happens. Now question for you. Will life happen to you after weight loss surgery? Yes. It doesn't stop? It doesn't stop? Well, that's when life begins, right? After weight loss surgery. No. Life has always been going on the whole time. So will marriages happen? Yes. Birthday parties? Yes. Funerals? Yes. Baby showers? Birthdays. We never call them death days. That's too sad. Huh? <laughs> Weddings? Divorces? Promotions? Firings? <laughs> Elections? <laughs> it still happens. Car wrecks? Car thefts? Right. Slash tires? If you live in Albuquerque. Fires. House fires? It still happens. Yeah. And it doesn't stop because you had weight loss surgery. Oh my god. Doesn't the universe know I did this very important thing in my life? I just wanted this so bad and then this had that. It doesn't, doesn't stop. So. Number one, because life happens, the first question you have to ask yourself is what? Uh, who's old school? Who remembers? Sandra, do you remember? What's the first question? Because life happens, you have to ask yourself what? Cheryl, do you remember? What? Who remembers? Kind of life am I leading? Is that right? If you're gonna sit there and say, oh well, life happens, you gotta stop at some point and say, what kind of life am I leading? Because mm -hmm. some people don't know what type of life they're leading, is that true? Now listen, I'm not being ugly. I'm a nice guy. But we all know somebody like this, and maybe sadly, we might have been this person. But everybody knows somebody who's in an abusive relationship, is that true? Mm -hmm. And everybody knows she's being abused, except for her. Mm -hmm. Oh, he only gets upset or loses his temper when he's had too much to drink. And everybody at the party goes, he's about to have too much to drink. <laughs> <laughs> Except for her. I'm not being judgy. But that poor woman just doesn't know it. Oh, I fell and hit my eye on the doorknob. Oops. I'm just clumsy. It's almost like it's a battered wife syndrome, they call it, you know? But she just basically doesn't know what kind of life she's living. Now, not being ugly, that's happened to us with our obesity. Is that true? Yeah. It's been, you weren't born 400 pounds or 300 pounds. You just slowly gained a few pounds. You could do less and less activity, less and less clothes that would fit, fewer things you could do to your family, couldn't walk as far, more medicines. And one day you wake up and you go, my life is shitty. True? This is not the life I wanted, right? 
Now some of y'all, y'all are here because you woke up and said, this, my life is no good. But all of y'all have friends and loved ones who go, I would never do weight loss surgery. I like to eat too much. Mm-hmm. All that sort of stuff. They're battered wives, I mean, I'm saying. <laughs> they just don't know how bad, what their life is like. Does that make sense? Now some people come to it sooner. They realize I'm 100 pounds overweight, BMI 40, I gotta do something. Some people get a lot heavier, 400 pounds, 500 pounds. That lady we talked about, BMI of 70, like that's a lot of problems. Yeah. Makes sense? Okay? So the first thing you have to do, and y'all all need to do this if you haven't done it yet, is sit down and say, what is my life like? Don't sugarcoat it. Number one, don't sugarcoat it. Number two, don't make it worse than it really is. But be honest with yourself. Just say, how's my marriage? Is this the marriage I really want? Am I at the job I want? Can I walk as far as I want? Am I as active as I want? If Thor came up and wanted to have sex with me, would I be willing to take my clothes off? (laughs) (laughs) I'm kidding. I'm free. I'm a free. (laughs) Not judging. Not judging. What kind of life am I leading? Okay. Which leads us to the follow-up question to the question. Question number two is what? <coughs> Who remembers? What am I going to do about That's it. it. What kind of life do I, want? do I want to lead? Do I want? See, the problem is a lot of you, a lot of your friends, a lot of your family members know they have a crappy life, but they don't know what they want for their lives. Yeah. They'll say it's too hard, too busy, not possible, too know. expensive. I don't know how to get started. If someone would just help me, Dr. Vaughn, show me how to make a green smoothie. Come move in with me, Dr. V. Mm-hmm. Cook for me, Dr. V. Like, I could cook for you. Doesn't mean you'll eat it. Mm-hmm. Right. So what kind of life do you I want? So the next thing after you write down what your life is like, go back and say, you know, I want more passion in my marriage. I want a promotion. Mm-hmm. I don't want this job anymore. Right? I want it, and then, y'all got that? So draw another arrow down here. Now once you wrote it down, you're gonna look at that list and you're gonna do this. Duck it up. <laughs> so what would Dr. Vaughn do? Like, let's dream bigger. I need everybody, the two million people, two billion people on this planet who has obesity to know my name. Who is suffering from obesity. You know, the 100 million Americans, Americans need to all know my name. That's dreaming big, right? I need your help. So you kind of have to dream bigger. Some of y'all are gonna go, oh, I wanna travel and see Arizona. (laughs) Like, forget Arizona. Let's go do Paris. Does that make sense? Let's go make some good dreams. Mm-hmm. You know, some people go, I want to go visit Hollywood. It's always been my dream to go see Hollywood. Like, that's cool, but why not be in a movie and then you'll see a lot of Hollywood that way. Mm-hmm. You know, there's who's that producer, Harvey? Go, go look up Harvey. He's probably looking for some action right about now. He'll get you a part. No? Not cool? Too soon? Was that too soon? Too soon? I could probably get a part if I called him up. Hey, Harvey. So dream bigger. Okay, now, in order to get your dreams, what do you need for your dreams? Draw an arrow like this. What do you all need? Goals. Mm, before goals. Well, you've already, ri- you've already written your goals, right? What do you want in your life? What do you need to accomplish your dreams? Motivation. Well, how do you get motivation? Action. No. Inspiration? No, write this down. Energy. Isn't that true? You can sit there and watch all the YouTube videos you want, write all the goals you want, write the game plan. Shit doesn't happen until you get up and do it. And to get up and do it, you need energy. Is that true? And your obesity, whether you want to admit it or not, made it harder. You, now your want's there, but it's just hard. It's hard moving 350 pounds, 300 pounds. You can't walk as far. It takes more energy to move that mass. So you need energy, is that true? Yes. Now question, where does energy come from? Nutritious food. Draw an arrow to Mm -hmm. nutritious foods. 
Did y'all see what I just did to y'all right there? Mm. Yes. Did y'all see that? Boom. Boom. Please said boom. You start with nutritious foods. You analyze your life. You decide what life you want. And it starts with the energy you get from your nutritious food. So who's ever heard like this? Food is fuel for my body. Who's heard that before? Yeah. Yes? Yes. I say no. <laughs> food is fuel for my dreams. Good. From now on. Got it? Your problem has been this whole time, your dreams just have not been big enough. When your dreams aren't big enough, you're willing to, to sacrifice for fast food and junk food. You're willing to give in to these donuts and snacks. And I'm so stressed out, what can I snack on? Mm -hmm. well, I can't sleep at night, I'm up at two in the morning, I'm so worried about this, what can I eat that's healthy? Your dream's not big enough to move you so that you burn up all this energy, so you just give it all. You leave it all in the field, as they say. You work hard that day, and when your head hits the pillow at night, you just crash out, knowing you gave it your all that day. That's how you make your dreams happen. Does that make sense? And I hate to tell you this, there's no, there's no short, shortcut for this. It starts with your food, what you put in your mouth. The second you start nourishing, protecting your dreams, making them big, that's when snacking is not an issue. Obesity is not an issue. Losing weight is easy when your dreams are big. Make sense? Y'all have a great grief this week? Yeah. Yes. Awesome. Woo! Woo! Preach! Yeah. Get your sorry butts out of here. Go dream some big ass dreams. Let's go. Okay?